So when I got my modular system, one of the things I really wanted to get was the sequencer. I ended up getting the Q960, which is a remake of the original sequencer on the Moog synthesizer. And you could make loops, eight, you know, like eight step loops, 16 step loops, so forth. And I was happily doing that. And they're terrific for making a bed of sequences and you, you can add on melodies, you can add on bass lines to that and get that great uh, Berlin School of Electronic Music sound. Uh, but I happened to catch a video of a guy on YouTube who is demonstrating a Q963, which is an add-on to the Q960. And what that does is it allows you to insert rests within those eight beats. I thought that was pretty amazing because now you can create a rhythmic pattern. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so normally our 960 would send a clock out on every step and we would get a repeating pattern. <laughs> So with the 963 trigger bus, we have the ability to skip steps or direct them to another output. So the first example I want to show you is I'm going to take the output of A and I'm going to put it in a envelope generator and I'm going to have that envelope generator trigger our filter. And I created a pattern by turning some of these on and some of these off. And we get this. So you can play with the patterns by flipping these switches. The way these switches work is if they're on the left, if they're moved to the left, they come out of A. If they're in the center, they don't go anywhere. And if it's to the right, it comes out of B. So that's kind of interesting. And now that could go to a filter, that could go to a pulse width modulation, go to anything that an envelope generator could drive. So you, you know, just use your imagination there. But the other cool thing is, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the the direct gate out of the oscillator output of the sequencer. I'm gonna remove that from the voice. I'm gonna actually key the voice from this side only. And so I want you to hear what that sounds like. So we're able to create a rhythmic pattern with that module there. So here's some more examples of using the Q963 to create rhythmic patterns. Awesome. Now here's an example of using the trigger bus to key an extra voice. Check this out. Okay, so that's the 963 trigger bus. Pretty awesome module. Uh, it adds so much more dimension to the Q960. So if you have a 960 and you don't have the 963, go get it. You should have it. If you have it and you haven't used it in a while, pull that thing out and start playing with it. It's very cool. So that's it till next time.